In this problem, we want to use a graph to determine A, the function's domain, B, the function's range, C, the x-intercepts, and D, the y-intercept. So for part A, domain. Domain is the x values where the graph exists. Well, as this goes down, see how this is going to the left? So as it keeps on going down forever, it'll keep going to the left forever, which implies it's going negative infinity. Now in this one, see as it's going to the right, it's going, uh, or as it's going down, it's going to the right. So as it keeps going down, it'll keep going to the right, keep going to the right to positive infinity. So our domain is negative infinity, positive infinity. Now our range, our lowest y value, where it exists. Well, as this goes down like this, it keeps on going down forever, so it keeps going down forever to negative infinity. Our highest point on our graph. See, if we come up here to y is equal 4, our graph doesn't exist up here. The highest point is actually right here. In terms of y values, that'd be 1. And again, we'll put a bracket on that. Now, our x-intercepts is where it crosses or touches the x-axis, which looks like uh, 1 and 3. You could write it this way, 1, comma 3, or if you want to write it in point form, I don't have any problem with that. 1, 0, 3, 0. Our y-intercept is where it touches or crosses the y-axis, which looks like negative 1. So you could write negative 1, or if you want to write it in point form, uh, that's fine too. So that would be 0, negative 1. And those would be your answers.